Logan was such an amazing person to know. And even as an infant, you saw that incredible spirit and drive that he had. He had so much brightness in his eyes long before he could ever communicate with you. The love that he filled in me, I can pass on to others that I never felt before until I met Logan. Logan has made me a better person throughout life. Logan never met a stranger, ever. He unconditionally loved, really, truly, those that he met and those that he kind of, say, influenced with his charm. The kind of unbridled joy that he approached the day with, I think the one thing that I always take away is that he cared so much, not only about, you know, living life in a joyful manner, but in a way that was very compassionate towards others. Logan was really a champion of life. That's Logan. Just true, unconditional love that was poured into him. Shortly after Logan was born, I was told he had an undiagnosed genetic condition. And based on similar cases like his, he most likely wouldn't live past age three. He had so many medical challenges. Failure to thrive, a hole in his heart, an immune deficiency, a hearing impairment, lymphedema in his legs, and that's just to name a few. At one point, he was seeing 17 different specialists and had gone through the surgery department at Cincinnati Children's more than 100 times. Remember when he was going off to kindergarten and we were so worried about the aides and the help and the people at the school were extremely anxious about having someone with such a long list of medical problems. And finally the big day came and he climbed down with his swollen legs off that bus with probably a lot of difficulty he had his very uh, wonderful little backpack on, and he swung his arms wide and said, here I am. And all of the teachers and everyone fell in love with him like the rest of us have. And so the first time I got to meet him was his first time ever entering a school environment. There was this whole room of people and this bright-eyed, eager, engaging young man who was there. And that was the first time being a principal ever was his first time ever coming into school. And so I think we kind of figured things out together a little bit. He taught me more about how to overcome challenges and how to overcome struggles that you've got and how to engage with people. Logan had Asperger's and at age five became obsessed with American history and presidents. After seeing Elvis with Nixon at a National Archives exhibit titled The President Meets the King, eight-year-old Logan aspired to be an Elvis tribute artist. He loved the music, the drama, and just like Elvis, he loved people and helping others. Logan had just a, a, a true innocence to him. And how do I look? I, and am I ready? I'm ready to roll. And, you know, t 20 minutes before, he might be saying, are we close? Am I almost on? And then, how are we gonna do this? So um, just that natural inquisitiveness about him but just a goodness, just a natural, like I say, innocence about him, and it was refreshing. When I think about words that describe Logan, I think of words like fearless, and courage, and strength, and resilience, but most of all, the word that describes him is joy. He responded to the love in his heart without embarrassment or apology. He enjoyed life fully, focusing on what's really important, connecting with others, hugging often, being kind and happy, and he never let his limitations hold him back. It's just the raw passion that Logan had towards anyone that, that knew Logan would know, towards Elvis, towards presidents, towards anything Americana, but more so towards life. He was a caring person. Whether he, he's known you his whole life, or whether he just met you that day, he cared about you. Although he's gone, that is gonna be one of his greatest attributes that I'll, I'll never forget. I met Logan at the Fit Kids summer camp. I met him because he had hearing aids, like me. I went to prom with Logan, and we went to the Marymount prom, and we danced. It was fun. He said, you know, I, I really feel like, even though we don't really know each other that well, that I've gained an older brother. So that was pretty sweet. I really couldn't finish the game after that, but. It was pretty sweet. In April 2016, Logan's journey ended after 19 years. He had an incredible, amazing life filled with adventures, laughter, and love. He was the resident historian and politician 
and used his love of Elvis to raise monies for nonprofit organizations. We built the Lovis Foundation to promote the initiatives that were important to Logan and to continue the joy that he brought into the world. We will fund many community programs as unique and imaginative as Logan himself. Two of the ways we will make an impact is through Drama Kinetics, an organization that brings performing arts to the differently abled and Make-A-Wish to provide a wish for children who want to visit Washington, D.C. We're also partnering with the Brewhouse Dog Bones to provide canine dogs with state-of-the-art dog vests that aren't heavy and won't break down the dog's skin. Logan clearly cared the most in life about other people. It was more than, you know, more than Elvis, more than the presidents. That was always foremost in his mind is uh, living a joyful life and helping others do the same. And that's something that I think Lovis will be able to do really well is for kids in situations like Logan's to bring that joy uh, to a variety of outlets and, and to kind of find that outlet. The Lovis Foundation will make a difference in the lives of youth with disabilities, first responders, and many others. We challenge you to live like Logan and join us in spreading joy.